tinea capitis. Tinea capitis is tinea of scalp here. So it can be endothrix or ectothrix. Endo means inside. The spores they are present inside the hair shaft. Ecto means out. So the spores they are present outside the hair shaft. Then it can be inflammatory in which we will be having cicatricial scarring hair loss. Examples are Kirion and Favus and non-inflammatory or non-scarring hair loss. In this we have black dot and gray patch. Clinical features include mostly a child is involved and there is easy pluckability of the hair. There are broken hair. A child with easy pluckability of the hair. Of hair. Very important topic from exam point of view. Every year at least a single question is coming on tinea capitis. Okay. So first we will be discussing about non-inflammatory. Non-inflammatory tinea capitis which is black dot and gray patch. So what we have in black dot? Dot D. The hair shaft involved is endothrix. The spores are present inside the hair shaft. Then black dot is caused by, remember black TV. Black dot is caused by trichophyton tonsurans and trichophyton volatium. Black. So, black fluorescence or you can say no fluorescence. So, what are the clinical features? So, this is a patient of black dot tinea capitis. You can see these black dots. A patch of hair loss with black dots. So, as the spores they are present inside the hair shaft, they make the hair weak. As a result of which, the hair breaks at scalp surface, giving an appearance of black dot. Next, we have gray patch. Exothrix, which means the spores, they are present outside the hair shaft. So, here the spores are present outside. And it is caused by microsporum species. Remember it as cafe. Microsporum canis, Microsporum odoni, and Microsporum ferruginium. So, you can see the patient presents as grey patch and shows green fluorescence. green fluorescence on wood's lamp. So this is grey patch. As you can see there is patch of hair loss and it is appearing grey. In this as the spores they are present outside the hair shaft so they break 3 to 4 mm above the scalp surface. Breaks 3 to 4 mm above 
scalp surface okay so now we have two variants of non inflammatory type of tinea capitis both of these are exactly opposite to each other one is black dot in which we can see black dots the organisms responsible most commonly there are trichophyton species and it results in no fluorescence then even the spores they are present inside the hair shaft whereas gray patch is exactly the opposite the spores they are present outside there is green fluorescence and it appears as gray patch and the hair breaks 3 to 4 mm above the scalp surface next we have inflammatory type of tinea capitis in which we have favus and kirion so in favus endothrix spores are present inside caused by so remember favus s so remember favus from s we have trichophyton shinoleni and the clinical features are this yellow colored clinical features are yellow colored crust known as scutula scutula since the spores they are present inside the hair shaft so there is formation of air spaces inside the hair we have yellow colored crust known as scutula in kirion hair shaft so kirion is the bad variety kirion is having swelling so both endo and ecto kirion is the bad variety so both endo and ecto spores are present inside spores are present outside the causes are remember it as kvm kendriya vidya mandir so trichophyton verucosum and trichophyton mentagrophytes trichophyton verucosum and trichophyton mentagrophytes mentagrophytes so the patient has this kind of boggy swelling boggy swelling the patient has pus matted hair regional lymphadenopathy regional lymphadenopathy and the patient has pain treatment for microsporum species give griseofulvin so griseofulvin is the overall overall drug of choice for trichophyton give t that is terbinafin give t which is terbinafin